Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. How common is breast fat necrosis? Fat necrosis in the breast is a common pathologic condition with a wide variety of presentations on mammography, ultrasound, and MRI. The incidence of fat necrosis of the breast is estimated to be 0.6% in the breast, representing 2.75% of all breast lesions. Can fat necrosis be seen on ultrasound? Although sonography may not always lead to a precise diagnosis of fat necrosis, it plays a major role in ruling out malignancy. For example, on sonography, increased echogenicity of the subcutaneous tissues is the most common presentation for fat necrosis, and hyperechoic masses are almost always benign. 8. Can hitting your breast cause a lump? Hematoma. Hematomas are another possible complication and can occur anywhere in the body after an injury, including the breast. Hematomas develop when deeper blood vessels become injured and bleed into the surrounding tissue. This collection of blood can be firm and create a lump. How long does fat necrosis take to develop? Chen et al. reported fat necrosis at a median time of 66 months, 36. In this study, the mean period until the detection of fat necrosis was 21.1 months from surgery with clinical examination or imaging modalities including mammography, ultrasonography, or breast mister imaging. Is it a lump or breast tissue? What does a breast lump feel like? Breast tissue in and of itself can feel somewhat lumpy and sponge-like so it can be hard to know if what you're feeling is an actual lump or just normal breast tissue. A breast lump will feel like a distinct mass that's noticeably more solid than the rest of your breast tissue. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark.